So. Let's talk about loan limits. How boring is that? Well, maybe pretty boring, but here's the deal. I had a question about loan limits and what that means, and I realized, oh yeah, that is something most people might not understand or have any knowledge of. So here's the deal. Conventional loans don't exactly have limits, but they kind of do. So with a conventional loan, it has a limit that makes it conforming, and then it has a part that makes it a jumbo. If it's under the value of X, conforming. Over the value of X, jumbo. What's that number? I don't remember. So I wrote it down. I can tell you what it is. $726,200. If you are buying a house in the United States that is under $726,200, you're conforming conventional loan. If it's over that, it's a jumbo. What's that mean? Well, jumbo has a little more expense and cost and underwriting issues, and you might have to put a little more money down depending on all kinds of things, credit score and whatnot. So let's say you go with FHA. FHA loans absolutely do have a limit, and that's what most people think about when they think about loan limits. So that one varies county to county, state to state. The vast majority like $472,300, that's the loan limit for El Paso County, and that is the most common amount. Garfield County is the highest in the state of Colorado at just over a million dollars, and then the lowest in the entire state, there's three, Montrose, Uray, and Phillips County are all at $425,500. So if you buy a house that's more than that, you either have to bring in the difference to have it be FHA, the difference from the purchase price to that number, because that's the highest amount the loan can possibly be, or you have to use a different type of loan. Now VA, VA technically has no loan limit, and they'll tell you that. The issue with VA is it's based on income levels, and so that would be the limit, but technically VA has no limit. The only other thing you'd come across is there's all kinds of specialty loan programs with grants and things like that. Those are almost all based on FHA programs. And even if they're not, they're going to have a limit, but that limit's going to be based on income levels. If you had zero debt, you could borrow, say, 46% of maximum income of X, and that's going to set your loan limit. And that's pretty much for sure gonna be under those FHA limits. Does that help anybody? I don't know. I, I didn't really think of that as being a question out there, but that's why I ask people. When you're doing this 20 years, sometimes things that are kind of second nature to you, you realize other people don't actually do. No. So, break it down real quick again. Loan limits, conventional. Technically has no loan limits, but it does have where you become jumbo. The jumbo limit, $726,200. FHA has loan limits. They vary based on the county you live in, in your state, right? And VA has no loan limits. And specialty programs are gonna be income-based limits, not really loan-based limits. So I hope that helps you. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit those notifications. If you know somebody that's shopping for a home and this information would help them, please, please, please share it with them because it is probably gonna help them have a good education. If they need help, that's what we're here for. We're here to help buy, sell, invest. We do all those things. Catch you on the next one. I haven't been saying that lately. We just end stuff.